This new shop in Radnor Township, Delaware County, has become the center of debate. It's a self-described cannabis dispensary, and when it opens, it will sell controversial products. But many residents are opposed to it, though, and they took their fight to the township commissioner's meeting tonight, where things got smoking hot, to say the least. It's Monday night. I'm Rick Williams, and the big story on Action News is a community outcry about a brand new business that sells CBD and Kratom right in the heart of Wayne on Lancaster Avenue. Action News reporter George Solis is live in Radnor Township with more on tonight's commissioner's meeting that was packed with concerned residents. George. That's right. Good evening, Rick. Many residents speaking in opposition to the business, many taking issue with things like the signage and products inside the store, to name a few things. The business, however, firing back, saying they are working on a solution that works for all. Tonight's Radnor Township Board of Commissioners meeting open with a round robin of fiery debate. We cannot bury our heads in the sand. I don't want it in my backyard or anywhere on the face of the earth. The cycle of speakers voiced their concerns over this new CBD Kratom and self-identified cannabis dispensary on highly visible East Lancaster and Wayne. The shop opened late last week and was immediately shut down over concerns of code compliance and their failure to seek proper permits. It was a front to the board, it's an affront to the township, it's a front to everybody, all, all the staff, that they don't have to do what everybody else has to do. According to the Mayo Clinic, Kratom, a plant generally grown in Southeast Asia, has been marketed in several forms as muscle and cramp treatments. It's also been promoted as an aid in overcoming opioid withdrawal. CBD is a chemical found in marijuana that won't get you high. Tonight, many argue, given the store's location to schools, it should not be allowed to reopen. Don't let this business in our town. The Kratom controversy is not new. Calls to ban the product grew in 2019 after a coroner determined 25-year-old Caleb Sturgis of Westchester died from a Kratom overdose. In a statement to Action News, the company addressed their permitting issues, their president writing in part, quote, Unfortunately, township requirements were not identified by our team. I strive to live by our core values, which include responsibility. The statement also affirmed a commitment in educating the community about their products, including age restrictions. Some town leaders tonight admit the business caught them off guard. Had no idea that was coming in. Any. And were unable to say if the business will reopen, even if all issues are resolved. This is a new issue for all of us in Rounder Township. Uh, it's not a product that many of us were even familiar with. So what comes next? Well, the business will remain closed until the township has had time to review all of the permits and code enforcement has a chance to look inside to see any changes that were made. But this debate, Rick, appearing to be far from over. We're live in Wayne tonight, George Solis, Channel 6, Action News. Rick. All right, George, thank you. For